Plenty of people have been hitting the slopes this winter, and Virginia Tech is researching ways to make it safer for you. They're taking a closer look at the helmets you wear for skiing and snowboarding. 10 News reporter Sydney Jacksheimer takes us inside the lab to find out which ones work best. The Virginia Tech Helmet Lab has been studying helmets and their effectiveness for over a decade. Football, cycling, and now skiing and snowboarding. Wearing a helmet could be the difference between life and death. If you have something on your head to manage impact energy, you're going to be a whole lot better off than not. What we do is assess the difference between helmets and determine which one's less likely to produce a concussion. For each specific sport, researchers like Helmet Lab Director Steve Rosen have to find ways to mimic the motion of falling or hitting your head. We developed a test method that specifically emulates how people hit their head skiing and snowboarding. So we got to think about things like hitting snow and ice. It has lower friction. They're traveling forward at fast speeds, and all that gets integrated in how we hit a helmet in the lab. After 35 helmets were put to the test, the Virginia Tech Helmet Lab came out with their first rating for snow sport helmets. Well, the best helmets tended to have some sort of anti-rotation technology inside, and all the different manufacturers have different ways of doing that, um, but they tended to do pretty well. They tested a variety of brands like Oakley, Giro, Smith, and more, but the price tag didn't always reflect the helmet's rating. You would think that the most expensive helmets are always the best helmets, but that's not necessarily true. Our top rated helmets were similarly priced to helmets that were in the bottom of the ratings. You can find the full list of helmet ratings on our website. In Blacksburg, Sydney Jacksheimer, 10 News, working for you.